Alanine has two pKa values. Uh, this is a good question because that this pertains to the new MCAT. They like to test on our amino acids. So remember this one. Alanine has two pKa values, one at 2.35 and one at 9.87. At what pH would alanine exist primarily in the form shown below? All right. So in its so the way I want you to think about um, amino acids and you know their their groups is that I want you to always start from all the way on the left on the titration curve. So in a very acidic solution, so the most ionized form. All right, and that's that's when you have the most um, well, not necessarily the most ionized, the most uh, protons attached to things that could have protons attached to them, you know, or removable protons. Okay, so um, that would be for alanine. It's it doesn't have any special groups. Okay, so it's just a very simple amino acid. Um, it's nonpolar, so it has just this uh, uh, methyl group sticking out. And then on the um, alpha carbon, you have a nitrogen attached and a carboxyl, as you always do. So this would be the R group right here, that's CH3. So this NH2 can pick up an extra proton, right? It can do a nucleophilic attack with that lone pair, attack a free H plus in solution, and then it'll pick it up, and now you have an ionized NH3 plus, right? And we obviously know that this carboxylate group can pick up a proton and become the COOH, right? It's a nucleophilic attack again. So in its most ionized form, it would be CH3, that'd be an NH3+, plus, and that'd be COOH, okay? So what you would have to do, um, and so it looks like both the nitro group, or the, the uh, amine group, sorry, and the carboxyl group have lost its proton. So in order to have both of them lose their protons, you're going to have to get into a fairly basic zone. All right, so you're going to have to go past that 2.35 right here to lose the H from this carboxyl group. Um, and you'd have to go past 9.87 to lose that H from the amine group, right? So um, the answer would be above 9.87 because you've deprotonated both the carboxyl group and the amine group.